What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another Clone Wars review. Today's video is Season 2, Episodes 15, 16, and 17. They are Senate Murders, Cat and Mouse, and Bounty Hunters respectively. If you like these Clone Wars videos and reviews, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. Uh, without further ado, let's get to the cast. Catherine Tabor, Padme Amidala, Phil Lamar, Bail Organa, Tom Kenny, Lieutenant Devo, Jennifer Hale, Lolo Purs, Jamila McMillan, Hallie Bertoni, Kath Susie, Mon Mothma, D. Bradley Baker, Anaconda Farr, and the Clone Troopers, and Admiral Trench. Gideon Emery is Medici. Ian Abercrombie is Palpatine. Tom Kane is the narrator, Yoda and Yolaren. Matt Lanter is Anakin Skywalker. James Arnold Taylor is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Anna Graves is Sugi and Rumi. Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano. Jim Cummings is Hondo Onaka. Episode 15, Senate Murders, which aired March 19th, 2010 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Brian Callen O'Connell and written by Drew Z. Greenberg. The moral is... Searching for the truth is easy. Accepting the truth is hard. There is a vote on an ordering more clones from Kamino. Padme, Bale, Mon Mothma, and Anaconda Far lead the opposition to said bill, and those for it are Senator Bertoni of Kamino and Senator Medici of Umbara. The opposition is having drinks, and Anaconda collapses dead. Later, in Palpatine's office, Inspector Devo reveals the Rodian was poisoned. He also tells Padme to let him handle the investigation, and she, of course, does not. She and Bale have a hunch as to who is behind the murder, so they visit Dichi and accuse him of murder. He says he didn't kill Far, he respected him, but he had him followed and learned of a clandestine meeting Far had at the docks. And yes, uh, that's the accent that apparently Ambarans speak with. They're, uh, they're from Transylvania, so, yeah. I do not say blah, blah, blah! Man, and th this is just like, you know, a classic detective story. You know, there's always a, a clandestine meeting at the docks and all that, so. So Padme and Bale go to the docks, and an assailant tries to kill them. And Inspector Devo arrives and says, he says, You must be deaf, Senator, as I distinctly remember telling you not to do this. Well, he said something to that effect. And Padme says to him, I got a lead and followed it. Or something along those lines. I'm not going to look at the exact wording. And Devo replies, Ah, so you naturally went to me with the lead. Oh wait, you didn't. And now... You've alerted the killer. You are on to him. Padme leaves after realizing they have alerted the killer, and she goes back to Dichi, who she thinks, ah, oh, it was Dichi, since he was the one that led us here, so maybe he tried to get rid of us. And with Devo in tow, Dichi is dead via a dagger in his chest. So, uh, yeah, that's lovely. The opposition senators are placed in protective custody, except for Lolo, Far's aide. She leaves... You're like, uh, oh, I don't need protection. Not long after that, uh, she returns claiming Bertoni attacked her. So, in Palpatine's office, a cuffed Bertoni pleads for her innocence. Devo says the poison only affects Rodians, and it was developed by Kaminoan scientists. So, in his book, Bertoni is goose is cooked. However, Lolo is also a Rodian, is she not? And, if the poison only kills Rodians, then why didn't she die when they were drinking? As that's when he was got poisoned. Unless... Yes, she is obviously the killer, and is arrested. And then, later on, the clone bill passes, and, you know, basically Palpatine's like, Oh, I, I'm against this, Padme. But, you know, maybe it's for the best. Let's, you know... It'd be nice to give the clones on the front lines reinforcements, blah, 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 you know, just trying, you know. He's Palpatine, he's, he's doing his thing. 16. Cat and Mouse, which aired March 
26, 2010 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Kyle Dunleavy and written by Brian Larson. The moral is, a wise leader knows when to follow. Christophsis is in peril. A separatist blockade of the world has left Bale's mercy mission stranded and in need of supplies. Enter Anakin Skywalker, who is sent with supplies to alleviate Bale's issue, but Admiral Trench of the Separatists causes the Jedi to retreat, and Obi-Wan's ship arrives as reinforcements, and he has a, uh, a secret ship that has a cloaking device on it to use to get the supplies to the surface. And so Anakin uses said ship, takes out Trench, and delivers the supplies to Bail Organa. 17. Bounty Hunters, which aired April 2nd, 2010 on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Stuart Lee and written by Carl Ellsworth. The moral is, courage makes heroes, but trust builds friendship. Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Ahsoka crash land on Felucia. They find a village which is being taken advantage of by pirates. So the Jedi help the bounty hunters that the villagers had hired to fight the pirates, which are led by Hondo. And this episode is a, uh, it's, you know, the Magnificent Seven. Um, they even give a little in memory of Akira Kurosawa at the beginning of the episode. What I liked. For Senate murders, uh, nothing really. Um, cat and mouse. Uh, Admiral Trench is an interesting villain. And then for bounty hunters, uh, it's nice to see Felucia. Um, again, I, I like exploring different planets in Star Wars. It's always nice. And I like seeing alien worlds. Not just, oh, this planet is all desert. Oh, this planet is all forest. No, Felucia's got weird plants and creatures running around on it. It's very interesting. It's basically like, oh, that's not on Earth. Good. What I didn't like for Senate murders. Um, why did Padme do a better job of finding out who killed Anaconda Far than the inspector? Like, yeah, because every turn it's like, oh, the inspector has this theory. It's completely wrong. And yeah, like Padme, like... Yeah, it's it's almost like um, Padme should be helping him do his job rather than doing it herself because, well, yes, she does know Anaconda Far better than the Inspector because, well, of course, she's also not a cop. It's not her job to go around figuring out murders. She's a senator, not a inspector. So she should have helped him rather than... But, Whatever. For Cat and Mouse, um, yeah, I guess Trench just feels, I don't know, like, hmm, I know exactly what's gonna happen because the writing dictated to me that I know, hmm, I don't know, that, that's just how I felt, like, he just felt like, oh, I'm, I'm really smart because, yeah, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but, and then for Bounty Hunters, I just wish we would have got a better story set on Felucia that, just, you know, I don't know. I just didn't think the story was that great. Well, this is the first time that I believe the Magnificent Seven story gets adapted into Star Wars. Now, that could be totally wrong. There could be a comic book that adapts that storyline. But, obviously, they do it in Mandalorian. You know, they'll probably do it again. So, it's a story that, for some reason, Dave Filoni likes to go back to, but... Uh, I'd give these uh, episodes um, a score as follows. For Senate Murders, 4 out of 10. Cat and Mouse, 6 out of 10. And Bounty Hunters, a 5 out of 10. Well, what did you think of these uh, three episodes? You know, definitely a little bit more negative batch, but not the worst episodes of The Clone Wars, which I think is good. Yeah, you can let me know what you thought of these episodes and which is your favorite in the comments down below and uh yeah right now you can watch a couple of videos on the top left you can watch my review of the mandalore arc and on the bottom left is the review of season two episodes nine through eleven so enjoy that video if you have not and yeah if you liked what you saw then please consider liking and subscribing and until next time thanks for watching